In this demonstration, I'll show you how um, Windows Firewall detects network locations and the effect it has on firewall policy. So um, here you can see it's detected the guest or public network. Um, and my Windows Defender firewall says um, I'm going to block all outbound connections um, on uh, public uh, and private networks. So it's very restrictive. Um, and obviously, then once I'm on a domain profile, um, it'll allow access to uh, rules apart from the blocks. Um, and so what that actually means is um, when network location awareness tries to uh, connect, um, it can't because um, the public profile is, de 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 is blocking access to those applications. So if we come across here and let's have a look at the, the outbound rules, we've got the standard Zscaler rules that say Zscaler tunnels are allowed to establish connections. But I've now also added um, some rules in here for um, the lsass.exe process. Uh, let's take a look at this. Um, it's the um, LSASS, um, the security service um, uh, executable, uh, which is called by processes. And this is allowed access um, to the synthetic range. Now, specifically, I've used 164.1.0 here. Um, but the full range is 164.00 slash 16. Um, but we know that um, the first thing Windows is going to try and do is establish connection to the domain controllers. So those will invariably be within the first uh, 255 hosts. So I think we're sufficient to restrict it here. Um, we could restrict it further and just allow access to TCP, UDP ports 389, um, and uh, 88 for Kerberos, but I've, I've left this kind of open for now. Um, and the net logon process also initiates connections. It does the same thing. So in this case, it's um, for the service, uh, the net logon service. Um, and then we've also done the same for the NLASVC, which is the network location awareness service. So Windows tries to detect access uh, to the domain by um, triggering the NLA service. Uh, that in turn calls uh, the net logon and net logon calls LSASS um, to do the authentication and get the Kerberos tickets and everything. Um, so those are the services that are going to be called. Um, and uh, we can come over here and we can see that um, Zscaler isn't currently logged in. Um, and so um, I've also got a uh, registry entry in here that I've configured um, for an LASVC and it says always expect domain controller and so this variable this value here says if I um, am not on if I'm on the public network I will expect to see a domain controller so I should continually or uh, periodically poll for that domain controller doing the DNS lookup um, making those connections and that's how I detect them on the uh, trusted network. So if we um, come out of this and we run a, a get net connection profile, at the moment it sees it's on the, the public network um, and uh, can't see the domain controller. So let's go ahead and uh, log into Zscaler. And this is in um, strict enforcement mode, so it's uh, restricting access to everything until I log in. So we can go across and uh, log in and run it while skeet dot that. And I'll get my uh, multi-factor uh, token prompt. And for some reason, it uh, didn't do transparent SSO. Uh, we approve on the multi-factor. And then um, once the multi-factor is authenticated, um, Zscaler Client Connector has enrolled with CIA, now with ZPA. Um, and we can see yeah, that it's connecting um, and it's connected for internet access and private access. Now, network connection, um, I'm going to uh, bounce the network adapter just to force it um, through to uh, reevaluate. And uh, if we have a look here, it's now identifying those uh, connections. 
and now it's identified as being on the domain and uh, we're now on the domain authenticated network profile so um, and these specific rules allow the network location awareness service to connect to the domain controller and authenticate our default rule um, on the public and private network um, is a block um, but those rules um, trigger to allow network location awareness um, to function um, and uh, there we go hope this is useful uh, it's mark at zscaler.com